In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a network user to a local workstation so that they have rights to actually do uh, more tasks on the actual machine, like add programs and change settings and things of that nature. They'll have elevated rights to the PC. Click on the Start menu, and go to Control Panel, and User Accounts. I'm going to manage User Accounts again. And we're going to manage user accounts from inside of here. Uh, now what we have are a uh, couple of users that are already part of this machine. You can see domain is actually the workstation name. These users are local users to this machine and they belong to the administrator group. We want to add a user from our domain and make that user an administrator on this machine. So we can go to add and from here we can click on browse. Now we're going to go to advanced and find now. Now if this didn't populate right away or it seemed to take a long time moving through any of these screens the first thing to check is the DNS. If the if this adding the users uh, section does not come up right away that typically means that it's not finding the server not finding the domain controller and so um, that's the first thing to check if it's slow in this area. This came up just fine. This is a very small demo network and so um, I expect it to come up quickly and I know that our DNS is set up properly. So what we want to do is we want to add our demo user and we're just going to click on our user, click OK, click OK again and it'll populate here. Now you could also just, if you knew the username and you knew the domain name, you could also click that. I typically go through and browse and that's just another test for me to make sure I've got all the other settings right knowing that my DNS is set up properly and knowing that it's seeing the server quickly. We'll click on next and what this does is allow us to set different uh, levels of usage for our individual users. Now in this area I, I typically find that a lot of programs when you're first setting up are going to make registry changes um, and so you want the user to actually be an administrator and so if it's a new network and you're setting it up what I would do is set it up as, and this would only apply in smaller networks larger networks there's other concerns and so you wouldn't want to do this because it creates uh, more administration but in smaller networks you could and at least test this out on a couple of users make them an, an administrator get everything installed and then back them down to a standard user. That way under that user all the programs could install and all the proper settings would be there. Um, some programs just don't install correctly under standard user. So we're going to click on administrator. This user is going to be an administrator on this machine and finish and that's it. Uh, all you have to do now is simply log out as the user you're logged in as which has to be an administrator to allow you to add users to a machine and uh, log in as our new user and you're done.